Hey guys, Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and in today's video, we're talking log footage. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the camera to shoot in log, I'm gonna show you how to properly expose log footage, and then I'm also gonna bring the footage back and show you how to properly color correct and grade that footage to make it look oh so crispy good. So to do that, we're gonna take a couple of different example shots. We're gonna shoot in C-Log, we're gonna shoot in C-Log 3, we're gonna show you the different camera settings that uh, you need to switch to achieve the best image possible. Then we're going to bring that footage back. We'll use both of those examples in C-Log and C-Log 3 to show you how to properly color correct using a LUT as well as doing it manually. And we'll also show you how to grade the footage as well. Now, before we set up the camera to shoot in log, some of you guys might be wondering, what is log footage? What is a log profile? And basically what it is, it's a flat profile inside some cameras. Not every camera has this. It's starting to become more prevalent on a lot of more cameras nowadays than it used to be. It used to be kind of a cinema camera thing only but a lot more prosumer cameras and consumer cameras are starting to have the log feature built in, or a lot of them now you can pay for an upgrade to get the log feature put in. So basically what it is, it's a flat image, and what it does, it basically retains a lot of the information inside of that flat profile of the image. So basically it's, it's collecting all the information of your highlights and your shadows, and it's basically condensing this into a flatter image so that when you bring it into post-production, you can bring out all that information that it's kept into this flat image. So basically you're left with a very flat image that looks almost black and white, and you do have to color correct and grade the footage before you can hand it off to a client or before somebody else watches it. Otherwise, they're gonna be looking at almost a black and white image. I generally shoot all of my videos in Canon C-Log3, and I'm doing that right now. And now obviously this has been color graded, but this is what it looks like when it's not color graded. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we're shooting in the flat profile, and this is what it's gonna look like if you don't grade it. So that's something I should be upfront about. Basically what you need to know is that you cannot shoot log footage and then just deliver it to the client or whoever it is you're delivering it to as is. It's gonna look flat, it's almost black and white. So you do have to know how to color correct and grade the footage afterwards, but that's what we're gonna show you guys today. So why don't we do the first step, and that is getting our camera set up to shoot in log, and we'll go through all the steps needed to shoot in log. Let's do that now. Okay, we're gonna set up the camera now, and just wanna give you guys my settings, just so we're kind of on the same page. So just to let you know, I am shooting at 24 frames per second. Our shutter speed is one over 50, our aperture is at f1.8, and our ISO right now is at 200. And basically that's giving us a properly exposed image and I am shooting in the standard profile right now. So this is the standard profile in the Canon R6. So the first thing we need to do is we wanna put our log profile on. So we have to go into our menu to put on that profile. So let's do that. I do have to stop my camera here to um, adjust the menu settings, but uh, you'll still be able to see me doing that here. So we'll hit stop here. We're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna go over to Canon Log Settings. You can see it's off now, and we're gonna turn C-Log on. And that's it. And now, as you can see already, our image has changed. It is super flat now, almost like black and white. And now we know that we're in one of the Canon Log profiles. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna properly expose this and one of the settings that we need to know is our base ISO for C-Log. Now, this is gonna vary depending on what camera you have. Probably gonna to have to find out, you know, what your base ISO setting is depending on your log settings. For the Canon R6, when we're using C-Log, our base ISO needs to be 400 in order for us to get the cleanest image. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna bump up our ISO here to 400. So we'll do that. Okay, then the next thing we want to do in order to see how to properly expose this, we want to turn on our histogram. Now you can see that I do have a little histogram up here. I do want to make it larger though, so that we can see it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my menu again. We're going to go over to our shooting info display down to histogram. And we do want this set to brightness and not RGB. And then we just want to change this from small to large so we can see it a little bit better on our screen and menu to get back out of it. Okay, so we can see our Iron Maiden figure in the background there. We can see our histogram. Now, in order to change 
this, there's a couple different ways. If we do not have an ND, we're going to have to either adjust our shutter speed or our aperture in order to change the exposure because we kind of want to leave our ISO at 400 to get that perfect image. So looking at our histogram, basically what we want to do is we want to have that white line as close to the middle as we can to know that we're properly exposed. So if I play here with our aperture and I bring this up, Obviously you can see that moving to the left in our histogram and now we know that we're underexposed. So let's bring that back up. Okay, and so we just wanna get that just over slightly. So why don't we bump up our shutter speed just to kind of give you guys an idea of what that looks like. So if we bump up our shutter speed again, we're going to the, you can see our histogram is moving to the left. So we know we're underexposed. So we want to bring that the other way. And I would say right around 140 is where, you know, I would prefer to shoot this. Now, I personally do not like to change my shutter speed. I like to do the 180 degree shutter speed rule, which means that if you're shooting at 24 frames, your shutter speed should be one over 48 or one over 50, depending what your camera has. So I don't like to do that. I like to keep that where it is. And then the only other option we have is if we have an ND, which I do here, but I've already got this at its lowest setting. So I can bump up the ND and it's gonna make that darker and you can see we're underexposed again. So in my case, what I would do just to bump this up a little bit, even though I said I would leave everything at 400, I would literally probably just bump up that ISO like one spot and I would say 500 and I would shoot this right now. So as a matter of fact, let's shoot this so this again, remember we're in C-Log. This is not C-Log 3, so this is C-Log 1. And just to be on the same page, our settings, we're shooting at 24 frames per second. We're 1 over 50 for our shutter speed. We are F1.8 for our aperture. And again, I did say this should be around ISO 400, but we did bump it up just one setting so that we had the proper exposure. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and I'm going to kind of show you the exact same thing with the C-Log3. And this is what I use to shoot all my videos is C-Log3. Now, in order to do that, we got to go back into our menu. We want to go back to our Canon log settings. And we want to put that to C-Log3. Now, when we go back, it's hard to tell on here, but this is slightly flatter than the other image or than the C-Log image. And the base ISO for C-Log3 on the Canon R6 is ISO of 800. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go in and raise up our ISO right here to 800. And again, guys, that's gonna give us, whoops, I went too far. That's gonna give us the best image possible. And already you can see we're pretty close to being in the middle there. In my case, I do have an adjustable ND filter on here. So in my case, I would literally just roll that up slightly until we're in the middle. And there you go. We have our histogram right in the middle there. We know our image is exposed properly. I'm going to record on that. And as you can see, again, we'll just run through the settings. I am still at 24 frames per second. We've left our uh, shutter speed at 1 over 50. We've got left our aperture at f1.8. And our ISO is now at the base ISO of 800 for Canon C-Log3. And as you can see, our histogram is right in the middle here, so we know we're properly exposed. So I'm going to hit record. We'll roll on that. And these are the two examples, guys, that I'm going to bring back to the studio now to show you how to properly color correct as well as grade. And these are going to give you some excellent results. Okay, I hope that quick little lesson on how to set up your camera and expose the image correctly was enough. Uh, I just want to kind of be clear that you know, basically you just want to set it on Canon log in my camera. The base ISO is 400 for Canon log and 800 for Canon log three. And then you just want to make sure you have that histogram up and make sure that it is sitting as close to the center of that histogram as possible. And you should be properly exposed correctly. So hopefully that was enough of a little lesson there. Now we do have the footage here and we're going to go over how to properly correct and grade the footage. And there are a couple ways. Um, the first way is to use a LUT, like I mentioned earlier, and it's going to be obviously quicker, but again, you kind of have to know what you're doing in here. 
Um, I personally don't use the Canon LUT conversions just because I haven't had the best of luck. I find there just adds too much magenta and then you're you know, constantly removing that. We'll get into the color correction. I'm not gonna go in through all the basics of how to color correct. I do have another video that I've already um, released on how to color correct in Premiere Pro. If you do wanna watch that video, I'll put a link in the description to check that out. So I'm just gonna kind of get into how to color correct and grade the footage without running through all the basics of how to color grade and all that stuff. So what I found works best for my situation and scenario is this Blackmagic 4.6K Film Gen 3 to Rec 709. And this is a free LUT that I found online. And if I just hit that, immediately you guys can see the difference here. We've got color in our image again. And this is basically bringing it back to a starting point for a grade, if you will. So this is kind of like if you were to shoot it in a standard picture profile, we're kind of bringing it back to that standard picture profile and then we would grade afterwards. So that's the quick and easy way. This is kind of the, the way I use, but again, it's been a lot of years of practice and finding out which LUT works the best with the footage. But we can also turn that off and we can go in here and do this manually. So we'll turn that off. We're going back to our flat image. So to do this manually, we're you know again gonna use all the settings in here. We shouldn't really have to use our temperature and tint sliders at all if we shot it correctly in camera. And that's another thing I should mention. You guys wanna make sure you get as much right in camera as you can, especially when using this log footage. Uh, you wanna make sure your white balance is as close to perfect as you can and that all the other settings and exposures and everything are correct so you're not working as hard in post and that will save you time and money as well. So we won't worry about our temperature and tint right now. Our exposure, again, we, we exposed this using our histogram. We had that histogram right in the middle, so it should be properly exposed. I can play with this slider and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna bring it down or up, but I think I'm just gonna leave it right in the middle because I thought we did a pretty good job of exposing it. But what we do wanna add is contrast. And now this is gonna basically do the same thing that that LUT did, and it's gonna bring our color back into the image. So I'm gonna go around, you know, 75 or so, and one thing I should mention too, is I do have the Lumetri scopes over here, and this is gonna give you a visual guide on where we want our settings to land. And I'm, again, I'm not gonna get into how to read all the scopes. I did go over that in the other video talking about how to color correct. So I will leave a link in the description for that video. And that runs through all the basics of how to use the Lumetri color panel in Premiere Pro and basically all the color correcting settings. So I will leave that in the link in the description if you wanna have a look at that. So we've got our contrast up. Highlights we could raise or lower. I think I like them right around 50 or so. Shadows we could raise or lower. I like to bring these down a bit. White, same thing. We'll go around 11. And the blacks will bring down a little bit too. So guys, right there is where I would leave this to bring it back to what they call Rec 709 or what I mentioned earlier is basically what we would have been shooting in camera using the standard picture profile. So just to show you, if I turn this on and off, this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now that we've manually color corrected. Now I just wanna be clear that this is now color corrected. We still wanna color grade this to give it the look and the feel that we want. So. Instead of doing that right now, why don't we open up our C-Log3 and we'll run through the same thing with that. So we've got our C-Log3 timeline open now. And as you can see, nothing's been done to it. It's just our flat image straight out of camera, but we would do the exact same thing that we just did with the C-Log image. We can either use the LUT or we can manually change the color correction. So let's just use the LUT since I showed you how to manually do it in the previous one. And that's how quick it is, guys. Like we, we went from that totally flat image to a, basically bring it back to Rec 709, and now we're ready to color grade this image. So why don't we go in here, and I'm just gonna show you the way I would do this for all of my YouTube videos. Again, I've done these so many times that I've kind of got a system. So all I do is I come down here to the Creative tab, I go up to Look, and I have a certain one that I like to use called SL Neutral Start. Sometimes it's a little bit much so that you can use this intensity to bring it down a little bit. I generally use this LUT and I generally bring it between 50 and 75. So you bring, basically, you know, if you bring it back to zero, it's basically not there. If we bring it out to, uh, sorry, to 100 where it was, 
This is kind of where it sits by default. And I generally bring this down a little bit just to, to tone it down just a little bit. So let's say around 58, 60, somewhere around there. And just to show you without that LUT, that's what it looks like. And here it is color graded. Now, this is what I do. This is how I do all my videos. So I'm basically shooting in C-Log3 every single time. Make sure that we've got our white balance set, that we're exposing correctly. And then when I bring it back to the computer, I do all my editing. And at the very end, I'll throw on that basic correction LUT, which was the Black Magic one. And that's it, just to bring it to, back to Rec 709. And then I come down to the creative. I bring it, put on this SL neutral start, and then I just adjust the intensity to between 50 and 75, something like that. And literally guys, that's all I do. Again, this is not for everybody. You guys might like to go through here and look at all the different LUTs and find something that suits you. But for me personally, this is the look that I like, and you guys saw how fast that is. And if I were coming in to do this, I just want to show you guys exactly how fast this can be done once you get your settings and once you kind of know what you're doing. So I would literally come in here, go to basic correction, throw on my black magic LUT, go down here to creative, throw on my neutral start LUT, and then bring this down to, you know, in between 50 and 75. And again, that's just my personal settings. And I would say done. Now, again, you know, the odd time, if the lighting's off or the white balance is off, you might have to tweak this a little bit for the, but for the most part, I just wanted to show you how fast we went from that completely flat image of the log image out of the camera into what I would say is something usable to send to a client or whoever it is that's viewing the video. All right, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys found some value in the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference. And I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos coming out on the channel. I did mention earlier that I did do a video about color correction in Adobe Premiere Pro and all the basics and how to use that. If you are interested in checking out that video, the link is right here. Thanks for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it, and we will see you in the next one.